Well, meteorologist Jasmine Lomax here with us today, along with our own Lady T. Hey. And Dr. Kalila Harris from the Center for American Progress. Good morning, everyone. Let me tell you right now. Good morning. Okay, so a new labor market reform in Belgium was just announced. Now, in this reform, workers are going to be able to choose a four-day work week, and they'll have the right to turn off work devices and ignore messages after hours without getting in trouble. So, I, what do you think? I, I love it, but I, it would never work for us. Yeah, I, I read about it, and it's it's interesting the way that they're doing it. Mm -hmm. So it is. They typically have 38-hour work weeks. Mm -hmm. I'll take that over 40 anytime. But they're splitting those hours over the four days, so it's longer each day. They're working a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. then they get compensated with an extra day off. But there are other countries. I think Iceland is one of them where you get the same pay, but you're still doing eight hours over four days and I'm all for it. Oh wow. I like it. I like it. You know, we we, we work overtime, under time, we work right. weekends, <laughs> nights, snowstorms, it's all uh -huh. it's all, you know, super sized time for us. So if we could swing it, sure. I don't think we ever turn the work phone off. Um, I know I don't. Doctor Harris, what do you think? Four day work week? Listen, I am a member of the Zinio crew, so uh -huh. uh, late Gen X, kind of millennial, mm -hmm. and there have been recent studies that show that we do best in three to four day work weeks. So I am all for it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Lady T, what do you think? Anything that gives me an extra day to brunch, I'm cool with, to be honest, because I just don't want to have to, I mean, the recovery day after, you know, you do all that <laughs> brunching and the endless mimosas, it don't, the math ain't mathing, it's not coming together. So I, I, I need that extra day. I need that extra day off. Four day work week, let's do it. That's a, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, well, now we want you to tell it. Would you rather have a four day work week or be able to ignore messages after work hours? You can vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. Once you get to the website, Make sure you click on the Lifestyle tab. And you can also vote on our Fox 45 News app. At the end of the show, we'll see what everyone thinks. So Uber has just given passengers the opportunity to see what drivers have been rating them. Users are going to be able to see how many drivers gave them four, five, to, I can't read that. Five, four, three, two, or even one star. <laughs> now, their final score will come from an average of their last 500 rides. Now, mm -hmm. if you have too low of a score, you could actually be kicked off of the app. So, what do we? Th I think that's genius too. I mean, uh, we've seen too many stories of Uber riders just losing their minds. I, Uber serves a great purpose, especially for a lot of people who don't want to drink and drive. But you can't just get in there and act the fool. So, mm -hmm. that's true. You can't get in there and act the fool. I agree. Um, I definitely don't like them rating us because I don't want to. The only thing I want to see is, oh yeah, she smelled good when she came in the car, <laughs> or like the conversation <laughs> was good, you know. But then it also feels like, okay, were we on a date? Okay, it was just an Uber drive. Like this isn't this isn't a date. Do I need a rating? No. <laughs> and should I get five stars? Yes. <laughs> but listen, so I am team introvert, and I don't want any of my drivers talking to me when I'm in the car. But I don't want you to get me alone. Because I don't want to talk to you. Right. Leave me alone. It's my private time. Drop me That's on. so shady, though. Oh. Like, just don't talk to me. My headphones are in. Like, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's COVID. <laughs> you don't have to talk to strangers in a closed space. I, I, I actually agree. So, I mean, I, I did. I spilled a, a, a. A beverage in the back of a, it was a big, like a super size cup, too. I'm sure I would have gotten like oh, zero man. stars. It was, oh, yeah, you probably would have got a two star rating. That's you. <laughs> My bad. You totally My bad. But other chicken. than that, I don't know. I, Jasmine, <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I feel like, have they always rated us? Because I feel like they have, but, and I mean, that's cool. That's fine. We give them ratings, too. I just don't want to see it. Right. I don't need to know okay. that. What I don't know is. Ignorance is bliss. So that's the thing. No, it's like a Black Mirror episode where people are rating each other. You need to know mm -hmm. that people think that you as a one star. Right. <laughs> She, said, well, I love she don't it. talk, so she get a one star. I love she, it, right? She, she you know, we're from Baltimore. Makes... They're going to be looking for the Uber drivers who give out the one stars, right? Right, they love it. <laughs> you better oh, rate Lord. accordingly. Okay, well, a man named Wayne Walker posted photos of Texas A&M's coach Sidney Carter's outfit on Facebook and asked if it was appropriate. I don't see what's inappropriate. Some people said it was inappropriate, while other ar others argued that there was nothing wrong with it. Now, she responded to the debate saying, listen, I'm unapologetic, un I can't read today. I'm unapologetic. You know the word I'm trying to say. I know exactly. <laughs> Unapologetically myself every day, and she doesn't care what people think. So what do you think? I think she looks fabulous. She came to serve. That's what she did. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She look good. I want those hot pink pants. That's what right? I want. The Starburst pink. The Starburst pink Starburst pants is what I like to call yes. them. They look if real you want to do good. Too much. Do too much. You think do it's too it. much? <laughs> no. no. She said, if you're going to do either. too much, do I too think much. She needs to keep doing it. Whatever's mm -hmm. bringing more attention to the game, whatever's bringing more attention or more fans in the sand, I think they just need to like let it let it happen. She's she's serving it up. She looks fantastic. She does. She's amazing. You go, girl. Hey. All right. Well, thanks yep. so much, ladies.